This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. You ready to go? Tom, the type of dude to wear a hoodie in appropriately mild weather. Yeah, it's actually a little bit colder out today. It's cloudy. It's, I mean, it's not cold, but it's, we're heading into the city today. There's a few places I want to hit up. I don't know. There's tons of stuff to do. We haven't even been to, Ed, we, oh, we're going this way. We haven't even been to Flight Club this week, man. What's up? We haven't even been to Flight Club this week. Well, this week just started yesterday. Okay, you know what I mean? Like the four days that I've been here, we haven't been to Flight Club. How far is this walk, Edwin? Does it look like my lungs can handle this? Yeah, I walked walk like four I blocks. already walked the 250 blocks, though. That's why I'm tired now. So they don't have the, the multicolors, but I've been seeing these everywhere this week. And the more I see them, we didn't get a release of these at home, but the more I see them, this is just a really clean, subtle, like wear every day type of, it's like sort of tan, sort of khaki. I like the color on those. These are sort of cool too, but unfortunately, no multicolors. Besides that, they got the James Harden lifestyles. They got those UNC up tempos over there that we took a look at yesterday. But as I said, oh, well, they got NMDs too. This isn't the greatest Foot Locker though. We Go just came it. out of Union Square. Get paid fairly, that's why Union's there. Mm. I don't, that's, I really only had two bars. I just, you know, so it's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about, it's about to happen. Ray Ray, the type of dude to cop a champion hoodie while wearing a champion hoodie. One of my favorite sneaker stores in Manhattan though, we're actually right here. It's called Sneaker Pond. It's on 14th and 5th Ave. They have some sick stuff. This is actually, the only place I've ever seen the Nike LeBron Soldier 3 at a consignment store, that's my friend Matt's favorite shoe. They got Keymasters, they got a whole bunch of Yeezys, they got Sample Ultra Boost, they got Player Edition Ultra Boost. Seems like every time I come in here, they have a whole bunch of amazing size 11 sneakers. Soulbox Ultra Boost size 11, these things are sick, 1200 bucks. Yeah, I'm not buying those anytime soon. Dornbecker 6s, these look like they could possibly be my size. These are sick. These are my size, $320 for those. That's not bad at all. I can't wait until these come back out. The Flint 13s, I, I think they have a September release date. Maybe it got pushed a little bit, but I really, really like these really much. Really much, what does that mean? Guys, check this out. These are only $200. They're worn and they have like some watermarks and scratches on them, but that's gonna happen either way because this is a natural leather shoe. And they're only $200. That's half of retail. I got so excited, but then I looked inside and they're size 14, so that's not happening for me. I would have bought those so quick if those were only $200. He got games up here, which is another pair of shoes I need to pick up. Tons of Royals. Look at all the sizes they have in Royals. I don't dance, I make money moves. My size, $1,200. No problem, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna pick these up or not, I'm not buying these. I love these though, this is, I'm, I really don't like Jordan 7s, the only Jordan 7s I like are these and the Bordeaux's. I need to get the Bordeaux soon because these are, I love them but not for $1,200. I ain't gonna dance, I make money moves. <laughs> Nothing that we're scooping at Sneaker Pond today, that mannequin always freaks me out, I think there's like a security guard there or something. Nothing that we're scooping today, but one of my favorite spots to hit up. They don't have like the stupid flight club prices, and they actually have a little bit of diversity in there too. I ain't gotta dance, I make money moves. Cardi B. We are on Broadway and 12th Street, which if you guys know, that is Flight Club NYC right behind us, and I have been making a few. What can you buy for $100? at Flight Club, at Meg Park, at Stadium Goods. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of other consignment stores as well. But Flight Club is like the quintessential consignment store. It is the place you go if you're in New York and you're looking to shop for some ridiculously overpriced sneak. I am excited if we find something in a size 12 that's really dope for under 100. I am copying it. I got bread fours last time or two times ago for under $100. If that's not crazy, I don't know what is. Who comes to Flight Club to buy this stuff? Like really, who comes to Flight Club to buy this stuff? Yeah, right? Like $400 for Revis trainers. Get out of here, kids. I got these for $80. And they went even cheaper. What do you think they are? $195, are you kidding? 
who goes to this wall and actually purchase fragment air trainers that have been at Nike Ellis for 50 bucks? This is where you're gonna find something to be completely honest. We got Roshi, Roshi runs are $110. GR Roshi runs are $110 with black Prestos, $120. White Prestos, $125. Random Harachis that no one cares about, $150. Really ugly Harachi. These are $100. These are $100. This is basically what you can buy for $100. These are ugly. These better be under $100. Oh, these are $175. $175? $175. Dollars. That is absolutely ridiculous. These aren't going to be under 100 bucks. These are oh, these are only 125. Legit. This is one of my favorite air air up time, or what are these called? The Air Tech Challenge shoes, the Andre Agassi. These are sick, 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 sick pair of shoes. 125 dollars for these. Andre Agassi obviously played tennis in these, and then Kanye completely stole the outsole and midsole and put it on the Yeezy too. This isn't looking so good, guys. They got the Mars Yards up there, those are $900. Maybe in the Adidas section we could find something. Anything with Boost is gonna be over $100. Uh, Joe, AKA Trent, I just had lunch with him and he recommended that we do Boost for under $100. That's not happening. 200 bucks. And if anything's under 100 bucks, it's gonna be these are $100 even. So you can buy fake Yeezy tubular shadows for 100 bucks. These are $100 as well. These are 90. Yo, we found something for under $100. I don't know what these are. It's like a ZX Flux with like a Y3 upper. Are they hideous? Yes. Are they under $100? Definitely. Let me just remind you that I got bread fours for $100 at Meg Park. I think someone needs to work on their pricing. I love these, Edwin. I love these. I can't wait till these release at the lockers. Vans are 60 bucks. If you want a random pair of Vans old school, those are $60. Yeah. These are 105 I mean, I would actually, this is something I would consider wearing. Would I spend $105 on it? No. But it's a cool pair of shoes. Like, it's a sick pair of Reeboks right here. I don't, how have we not got kicked out yet? We're just openly filming in the middle of Flight Club. I, the employees are pretty tight, to be honest. Guess what? These are sick. $109. This is close. It's not quite under 100 But it's within the realm of 100 It sort of counts, right? Like, these are... 200. 200. Those are on sale for $75. All right, guys. So that was Flight Club. They really don't have anything good for under $100. Like, literally nothing good for under $100. I was very disappointed. Stadium Goods had good stuff for under $100. Mag Park had tons of good stuff for under $100. That sucks, though. Nothing at, like, really, there was really nothing there for under $100. Worst spot to go buy sneakers. That being said, at some points in life, you do find steals at Flight Club and I got these for way cheaper than the market value right now so I'm happy about that. Dead stock in my size I've wanted them for a long time. I don't know how people walk around Midtown. Like there's so many people and you're moving at half a mile an hour. We're at Foot Locker 34th. It's like the best Foot Locker in the world. They get random restocks all the time. Like what I'm saying is really good. I'm not overhyping it. It's it's really good. We were taking a look at these yesterday. These are so nice. I love I love these. I'm buying them as soon as I get home. And then we got another pair of sick ones. I've considered buying these, the up tempos, the black and white ones. But after seeing the UNCs, I'm super super happy that I didn't pick those up. Sort of keeping my fingers crossed that the Adidas section here would have the multicolor ultra boost, but nah, they don't have the multicolor ultra boost. They got a whole bunch of random stuff. Nice. Up. They got the James Harden lifestyle, they got a bunch of NMDs, they got a couple pairs of so-so ultra boosts, but they don't have the multicolors I was looking for. I, I, we've been to, oh, they have the multicolors. They have the multicolors. I was completely lying to you. They have them right here. Ah, uh, the last one's a size 13. Oh, they had them. It's a size 13 though. Oh my goodness. The chick just said they had a size 13 and it was a return and that's the last one they have. If you guys want to hook me up for retail, I might even pay shipping if I'm feeling in a good mood. Holler at me. Size 12, not size 13. Maybe 12 and a half I could do. Come at me, man. They are dope. So Ed dipped, he had to go back home, deal with some family stuff. I'm just heading down to Broadway and Canal. I'm meeting up with New York's greatest, New York's most famous chef, 
well, at least probably most famous sneakerhead chef, Chef Aaron Michael Stein, we're gonna be, I don't know what we're doing. I think he's trying to sell a whole bunch of his shoes to consignment stores or something of that sort. I'm starving too, so we should go grab a pair. Of, we should go grab a pair of food. This is how much I have shoes on the brain. I'm speaking in a pair of food. Stepped on his shoes by accident. Now we're on the street and he's wiping them off with a little wet nap. J Jason Mark, baby. That's OCD. Don't uh, listen when it comes to the Ultra Boost. You gotta be. And then I'll save this like a good uh, Jew.